The NTSB and New York State Police revealing new information within the last hour about the investigation. Prestige Limousine has been shut down by the state after failing a safety inspection just last month. The driver was also not properly licensed. We've also learned the owner of the limo company was once an FBI informant who testified in a pair of terrorism cases here in New York City. 17 people in that limousine were killed along with the driver. Among the passengers, newlyweds, young parents and four sisters and their friends all heading to a birthday party. The, the crash was in the town of Schoharie, about 150 miles north of the city. We have several reports. Danielle Lee is looking into the limo company's history, but we begin with Jim Dolan, live in Amsterdam, New York, where a vigil will be held tonight for the victims. Jim. Dave, how could it happen? How could a company send out this enormous vehicle that had recently failed inspection? And how could they send out a driver who was not properly licensed to operate that vehicle? And how could they entrust that driver with 17 lives? It should never have been there. The stretch limousine that blew through a stop sign in upstate Schoharie and killed 17 passengers and two more in a parking lot should not have been on the road, and neither should its driver. The driver of the vehicle, the quote unquote limousine, did not have the appropriate driver's license to be operating that vehicle. Second, that vehicle was inspected by the New York State Department of Transportation last month and failed inspection and was not supposed to be on the road. It was shocking news. An investigation will determine what exactly caused the crash, but the driver, Scott Lizanichia, did not have a proper commercial driver's license needed to operate the vehicle, and that stretch limousine had failed state inspection repeatedly, most recently just last month. No one inside was wearing a seatbelt. I had four nieces. They're all dead. You have showed me what true love is. Amy was one of the sisters. Her husband also died in the accident. Mary Dyson and her husband Rob were killed as well. Among the dead, three young couples, four sisters, two brothers, all close friends, the whole group on their way to a birthday celebration at a brewery. They rented the limousine so they would be safe on the road. Karina Hulse lost her sister. She was such a charismatic person and she just wanted to make sure everyone was happy and I, I am so grateful that she was my sister out of everyone else on this earth and I will always have her in my heart. Well, I think the owner of this company, the owner of Prestige, has a lot of questions to answer. A vigil scheduled here for later this evening. There's still so many questions to be answered here and for this community, so much grieving.